this section we will discuss some of the question based on the properties of boundary value problem. So, let us start with the question. So, this is question in June 2016. So, question is and question number is 93 that is multiple choice question. So, question is the problem minus y double dash plus 1 plus x y is equal to lambda time y with x belonging to 0 to 1 and boundary condition is y at 0 is 0 and y at 1 is 0. So, this differential equation has non-trivial solution or non-zero solution. First option for all lambda less than 0. Second option for all lambda belongs to 0 1 close interval 0 1. Third option is for some lambda belongs to 2 to infinity open interval 2 to infinity and D option is for a countable number of lambdas. So, these are four options. So, this differential equation has non-zero solution for every lambda less than 0, lambda belongs to 0 1 that is for every lambda belonging to close interval 0 1, for some lambda belongs to 2 to infinity and for countable number of lambdas. So, we can write down this differential equation into y double dash or minus y double dash plus 1 plus x minus lambda whole into y equal to 0 or further we can write down this one y double dash plus minus of 1 plus x plus lambda time y equal to 0. If we will compare with the standard uh, self adjoint boundary value problem the standard self adjoint boundary value problem is dy upon dx p of x y dash plus q of x plus lambda time r of x y equal to 0. So, in this case p x is equal to 1, q of x is equal to minus of 1 plus x and r of x is equal to 1 and boundary condition r second form boundary condition. So, this given boundary value problem is regular boundary value problem and we know that every regular boundary value problem has countably infinite number of Eigen values that is there are countably infinite lambdas for which this differential equation has non zero solution and the set of Eigen value always bounded below unbounded above. So, if we will come to first option for a, if there exists non zero solution for every lambda less than 0 implies there are uncountable number of Eigen value. So, this is not possible again for second option if for every lambda belongs to 0 to 1 there is a non-zero solution again there are uncountable number of Eigen value. So, second option is also not possible. Third is since the set of Eigen value is bounded below unbounded above. So, there must exist some lambda belongs to 2 to infinity or in fact there are countably infinite lambda belongs to 2 to infinity for which this differential equation has non-zero solution. So, third option is correct option and set of Eigen value is co always countably infinite. So, this option is also true option. So, answer C and D are correct answers. Uh, 